1926.957, Liveline Tools, Subpart V, 1926.957, A, Design of Tools. Liveline tool rods, tubes, and poles shall be designed and constructed to withstand the following minimum tests, 1926.957, A, 1, through 1926.957, A, 3, fiberglass reinforced plastic. If the tool is made of fiberglass reinforced plastic, FRP, it shall withstand 328,100 volts per meter, 100,000 volts per foot, of length, for 5 minutes, or. Note to paragraph, A, 1. Liveline tools using rod and tube that meet ASTM F711-02, 2007, standard specification for fiberglass reinforced plastic, FRP, rod and tube used in liveline tools, are deemed to comply with paragraph, A, 1, of this section. Wood. If the tool is made of wood, it shall withstand 246,100 volts per meter, 75,000 volts per foot, of length, for 3 minutes, or. Equivalent tests. The tool shall withstand other tests that the employer can demonstrate are equivalent. 1926.957 B. Condition of Tools 1926.957 B. 1. Daily Inspection Each liveline tool shall be wiped clean and visually inspected for defects before use each day. 1926.957 B. 2. Defects if any defect or contamination that could adversely affect the insulating qualities or mechanical integrity of the liveline tool is present after wiping, the tool shall be removed from service and examined and tested according to paragraph B3 of this section before being returned to service. 1926.957 B3 Biennial Inspection and Testing Liveline tools used for primary employee protection shall be removed from service every two years and whenever required under paragraph B2 of this section for examination, cleaning, repair, and testing as follows. 1926.957 B3 I through 1926.957 B3 V each tool shall be thoroughly examined for defects. If a defect or contamination that could adversely affect the insulating qualities or mechanical integrity of the liveline tool is found, the tool shall be repaired and refinished or shall be permanently removed from service. If no such defect or contamination is found, the tool shall be cleaned and waxed. The tool shall be tested in accordance with paragraphs B, 3, 4, and B, 3, V of this section under the following conditions. 1926.957 B, 3, 3, A, after the tool has been repaired or refinished, and 1926.957, B, 3, 3, B, after the examination if repair or refinishing is not performed, unless the tool is made of FRP rod or foam-filled FRP tube and the employer can demonstrate that the tool has no defects that could cause it to fail during use. 1926.957, B, 3, 4, the test method used shall be designed to verify the tool's integrity along its entire working length and, if the tool is made of fiberglass reinforced plastic, its integrity under wet conditions. 1926.957 B 3 V The voltage applied during the test shall be as follows. 1926.957 B 3 V A through 1926.957 B 3 V C 246,100 volts per meter, 75,000 volts per foot, of length for one minute if the tool is made of fiberglass, or 164,000 volts per meter, 50,000 volts per foot, of length for one minute if the tool is made of wood, or other tests that the employer can demonstrate are equivalent. Note to paragraph, the guidelines for the examination, cleaning, repairing, and in-service testing of liveline tools are specified in the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers IEEE Guide for Maintenance Methods on Energized Power Lines, IEEE STD 5162009.